Thanks, um, I know you don't want to interfere with an ongoing <coughs> investigation, but given the unique nature of the charges against Senator Menendez, taking bribes from a foreign country, he's the chair of the Foreign Relations Committee, what message does it send to other countries if he's allowed to stay in that role? So I believe uh, from some of your reporting, I think there's discussions happening about his next steps, the senator's next steps. So I leave it to the leadership of the Senate and certainly uh, lead it, leave that to the uh, senator's office. I have to be really careful because it is indeed an ongoing matter. And so I cannot comment uh, on this. Uh, but as far as his um, uh, leadership role uh, in the Senate, that is something for Senate leadership to speak to. Given that this is now the second time that he's faced really serious federal charges, would the president advise him to step down? Do you want to see him continue to this? We're going to be very, very um, clear about this. We're not going to get involved. It is a ongoing matter, and so we're going to leave it uh, to um, uh, to um, to the prosecutors uh, to move forward with however they see fit. But we're not going to comment. Um, on the UAW, the initial plan was the president was going to send uh, Julie Sue and um, Gene Sperling to Detroit. They stayed here. Why was that decision made for them to stay here? And now, given that the strike is expanding, are there plans to now go ahead and send them to Detroit, or are they going to continue to, to uh, make those uh, uh, conversations from here? So there was a mutually agreed uh, decision that was made uh, this week that uh, we that was believed to be the most productive way to move forward was for um, for Jean and Julie to stay back and to help uh, from Washington in the best way possible. That was a mutually agreed uh, agreement. And look, we are in constant. Uh, those two are in constant. Uh, conversation uh, with all parties. They actually spoke to the parties today. And so that certainly is going to continue. We are going to help and assist in any way that they feel necessary. But look, I think the most important thing is that they are still at the negotiation table. That is incredibly important. They have done, they have been really uh, focused on this the last, uh, the last 24-7. Uh, and so I think that's important. The president has always said he's a union guy. He, uh, he, uh, he appreciates being called that by uh, unions and, and labor leaders out there and so we're going to do everything that we can to be helpful uh, but we are encouraged uh, that they are continuing to have that conversation.